Introduction Today we are reminded through the analogy of leprosy how sin enters into the human soul and how it grows and finally destroys During the time of Moses as narrated in the book of Leviticus it was not known if leprosy was contagious and so lepers were treated as outcasts Jesus however cured lepers and his fame as a friend of outcasts spread everywhere let us during this eucharistic celebration pray earnestly that we never allow sin to make its place in our hearts and minds also on the occasion of world marriage day let us pray for all those who have received the sacrament of matrimony and that their union may be strengthened by the holy spirit I sing a song to you Lord a song of love and praise all glory be to you This mass is offered for the parish intentions, souls of Benny Fernandez, Maria Silva Diaz, Stella Albert, Stella Alberts, Salvis Sylvester De Souza, Kushba Raj, Francis, Jabin Francis Mascarenes, Joseph and Subina Almeida. These are the members of family, De Souza's family. Mans Mind Mass, the Gregory Paul Lobo. Thanks to Mass. to in honor of lady of mercy jesus mary san anthony intention of baswat family thanksgiving mass in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of the lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery we all say i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most gravest fault therefore you ask blessed very a worship all the angels and saints to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me lord god May almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Oh, oh, oh.
Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in heart that are just and true, grant that we may so be fashioned by your grace as to become dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When a person has on the skin of his body a swelling or an eruption or a spot, and it turns into a case of leprous disease on the skin of his body, then he shall be brought to Aaron the priest or to one of his sons the priest. He is a leprous man. He is unclean. The priest must pronounce him unclean. His disease is on his head. The leprous person who has the disease shall wear torn clothes and let the hair of his head hang loose. And he shall cover his upper lip and cry out, Unclean, unclean. He shall remain unclean as long as he has the disease. He is unclean. He shall live alone. His dwelling shall be outside the camp. The word of the Lord. Your response shall be, You are hiding place for me. You surround me with cries of deliverance. You are a hiding place for me. You surround me with cries of deliverance. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. Our response, you are a hiding place for me. You surround me with cries of deliverance. To you I have acknowledged my sin. My guilt I did not hide. I said I will confess my transgression to the Lord, and you have forgiven the guilt of my sin. Our response, you are a hiding place for me. You surround me with cries of deliverance. Rejoice in the Lord, exult you just. Ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Our response, you are a hiding place for me. You surround me with cries of deliverance. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the Church of God, just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many that they may be saved. Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen among us and God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, a leper came to Jesus, imploring him, and kneeling, said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him, and said to him, I will. Be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. And Jesus strangely changed him, charged him, and sent, sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing 
what Moses commanded for a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news. The news so that Jesus could not no longer openly enter a town, but was out in isolated place. And people were coming to him from every quarter, from every corner. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in this COVID, in this pandemic time, one word is used again and again is quarantine or isolation. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, from last year and this year, we were quarantined because this virus, this COVID should not affect us. Or those who are affected by this virus, they were asked, to quarantine themselves or to isolate themselves so they may not uh, transmit this virus to others. You see, in today's uh, reading, in this biblical, uh, in first reading, we also had a similar, or uh, we also have the similar incident where leprosy people, those who have leprosy, they were asked to isolate, they were asked to quarantine themselves. You see, in the time of uh, Moses, uh, till now, we have this in first reading, it's prescribed what to do when you have leprosy. The person who has leprosy, if he finds or she finds a shining spot on the skin or swollen, he or she has to approach a priest and show, and if priest, if priest pronounce him or her unclean, then he or she is free. But if priest pronounce that he or she is uh, unclean, then he or she has to go to isolated place, out of village, out of city. My dear brothers and sisters, we see that this is what has been practiced from that time. A person is thrown out of the city or is thrown out of the village. He or she has to leave family, he, has, and he or she has to leave society and go and stay out. And, a fo of, and suppose he has to come back for something that is required to buy in the marketplace, he has to cover him, his face and he has to shout, unclean, unclean, and has to enter. In the gospel, we have something different, where Jesus Christ approaches this man who was having leprosy, and not only approaches, but he touched. And this was unthinkable. And that man who asked Jesus Christ, if you want, you can clean me, you can heal me. And Jesus said, yes, of course, and he cures him. My dear brothers and sisters, a person approaches to Jesus Christ and admitted that if you want, you can clean me. Today, as we have gathered here, we need to come to Jesus Christ. Christ is present in this altar. And with same conviction, we need to ask, Lord, if you want, you can heal me. Today, we also celebrate Archdiocese of Bombay World Marriage Day. And I want to thank all the married couple. I want to thank you for being a living example for your children, for your grandchildren, for your friends, for your family members. And living this sacrament of matrimony, practicing each and every day. My dear brothers and sisters, the beautiful one song I came across and the beautiful song uh, name, <clears throat> Love Remains. In this, in this particular song, the verse describes the life of married couples. It speaks about uh, that uh, to the tears and sweat, they build the home and raise their family. They share joys and pain. But love remains. They remain faithful to each other every day. They fight and they come back. But love remains. And this is a true. This is what the life of married couple. 
they fight but yet they come back and the love remain they 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 sacrifice themselves why because they have to build family together at last love remain the sacrament of matrimony is something is a beautiful sacrament a young couple who is about to get married had approached to a priest and uh, looking at this young couple the priest asked to visit a couple who has already completed 50 years of married life and this young couple of uh, when they met this old couple those who completed 50 years of marriage life a lady who asked question to this young girl who's about to get married daughter why you want to get married to this boy and she replied with all the enthu and the joy she said he fulfills my all desire and he does everything for me and this old lady who uh, completed 50 years of marriage life a uh, bluntly smile and said that if this is the only reason then step out don't get married because no one can fulfill this no man can fulfill this or does everything but only one person can fulfill all your desire can do everything is a god love remains and that's the reason my dear brothers and sisters this sacrament of matrimony is a sacrament it's a covenant between husband wife and god and this three are important and this is not the contract but this is a, this is a covenant this is a covenant made by god my dear brothers and sisters it's very important to know that each and every day is a gift and you my dear brothers and sister married couple you are the gift for the church because you are the living witnesses mother teresa once wrote a message to couple who completed 50 years of marriage life and i would like to give you the same message and the pray you should practice each and every day and the message is dear couple let us give thanks to your many years of love spent together in jesus may you always be one heart full of love in heart of jesus and mary always pray together god bless you mother teresa o francis when addressing to young couples who were married and he said two phrases are important in your life in the married life and he said i am sorry and thank you practice each and every day you husband and you wife every day i am sorry and thank you two phrases are important pope francis said i would like to conclude my dear brothers and sisters a leper who approaches jesus christ today said to jesus christ lord if you want you can heal me today as we gather here let us offer ourselves let us offer our marriage to jesus christ and let us ask the same thing jesus if you want you can heal my marriage let us pause and examine ourselves now we have a renewal of marriage vows we request uh, married couples to stand face each other and also smile dear couples on this celebration of world marriage day as you come together you are witnesses of god's love and faithfulness you are witness to the world and especially to the married couples who are called to live in fidelity through ups and downs of life your intimacy with love assured through the sacrament of marriage reminds you of god's constant presence in your relationship as you are by the grace of god counting a life of sacrament of marriage i invite you now to renew your marriage promises husband will say this to his wife I have taken you name of your wife to be my wife today again in presence of God I promise to be true 
to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Now wife, wife will say this, I have taken you, take the name of your husband, to be my husband today again. In the presence of God, I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have renewed your marriage vows before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your commitment and fill you with blessing. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise of the faithful. Almighty Father, you sent your Son to be to befriend us and teach us how to remain always in state of grace. We thank you for your, the gift of your Son. Honestly beseech you to grant our petition. Our response shall be, Almighty Father, cleanse us of our sins. Kindly repeat. Almighty Father, Father, cleanse us of our sins, that Pope Francis, the bishops, priests, and religious may faithfully fulfill their ministry of administering the sacraments to the faithful and thus ensuring that they remain in a state of grace. Our response, Almighty Father, cleanse us of our sins, that we may give up our human weaknesses and always seek to abstain from what we know to be wrong and do only that which is right. Our response, Almighty Father, cleanse us of our sins, that leaders in power may genuinely work towards helping people of all castes, creeds, and color affected by this terrible pandemic that has gripped our world. Our response, Almighty Father, cleanse us of our sins. In a special way, we pray for all married partners that they may be blessed and guided in their marital lives by the Holy Spirit. Our response, Almighty Father, cleanse us of our sins. We pause for a moment and pray for our personal needs and those of the community. Our response, Almighty Father, cleanse us of our sins. Almighty Father, in good faith, we resolve to free ourselves of the bondage of sin. We beseech you to grant our petition. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love, O Lord. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love. With this bread and wine, we come to the Eucharistic day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love, O Lord. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice in hand for your good, your good, your holy, fatherhood, and holy church. 
as we celebrate your mysteries o lord with observance with you in your due we humbly ask you that we offer to our honor of our, your majesty may profit us for salvation through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as a savior and a redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born to virgin mary fulfilling your will and gaining the holy people he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion so as to break the bound of death and manifest the resurrection and so with angels and all the saints we declare glory one voice we all acclaim indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed he entered willingly into his passion he took the bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly pray the parting of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope cardinal laws will gracious our bishop and all his auxiliaries and all the clergy we pause and pray for intention very especially we pray for all those who are married we also pray for all those who are preparing to get married
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, blessed apostles and all the saints we have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the service command and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of a Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said the Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. <clears throat> Blessed are those who call to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you enter under my roof, but say, say the word and my soul shall be. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Having fed upon this heavenly delight, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kind be seated. 
Sixth Sunday of the year, Notices for the Week Holy Childhood is celebrated today. A special collection will be made at all masses for the Holy Childhood Association. Kindly be generous. On occasion of World Marriage Day, there will be a special mass today at 11 a.m. The following are zone-wise mass schedule for 20th and 21st February. Cluster 1 with zones 4, 5, 6 and 7 on Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Cluster 2 with zones 8, 9, 10 and 11 on Sunday at 8 a.m. Cluster 3 with zones 12, 13, 14 and 15 on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Cluster 4 with zones 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20 on Sunday at 11 a.m. Cluster 5 with zones 1, 2, 3 and 21 on Sunday at 6 p.m. Length begins from Wednesday, 17th February, Ash Wednesday, a day of fasting and abstinence. Mass will be as follows. In the morning at 7 a.m. and 12.30 noon and in the evening at 6 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Mass at Our Lady of Victory Shrine, DMART, will be at 5 p.m. Animators are requested to check within their clusters for any elderly person who cannot come for Mass and need assistance for getting holy ashes at their home. The respective zonal coordinators can collect a packet and give it to the family. The Way of the Cross will be held after the evening English Holy Mass at 7 p.m. Every Monday in Tamil, every Tuesday in Konkani and every Friday in English. Our parish is forming a youth band and are looking out for musicians and singers. Interested youth, kindly contact Schneider or the parish office. Last Sunday's mass collection was rupees 35,000 and 2 rupees. Amount collected will be sent to Archbishop House being a first Sunday. Thank you for your generosity. End of the notices. Thank you. Kindly arise for final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Please.